Let's give it up for Carter Anderson. Oh, it's about to get adequate up in this bitch. <laughs> so, uh, I was uh, driving the other day, I had my windows down, and I cut this guy off really bad. I cut him off horribly. I drove past him. The guy caught up to me, rolled his windows down, yelled the N-word to me, and drove away. That's horrible, right? That's awful. Here's the thing about that, you guys. This dude was driving a Prius. I was like, yo, man, are you being racist and environmentally conscious at the same time? How you like dolphins but don't like black people? You know? We can do tricks, too. We can I can do backflips, I can go through hula hoops, I can do anything a dolphin could do. That's what my dad would tell me. So I've been black for a while now. Since college, since college. But I've also always sounded like this. I always sound like I'm about to audit a family owned bakery. That's right. And as you can imagine, that was a problem for me back in high school and middle school. A lot of people would go up to me and be like, Yo, you talking white! You over here talking white! You trying to talk white like these white folks! You talking white, Carter! And I tried to explain to them. <laughs> that it's speaking white. Very good, it's a grammar joke, all right. One of my friends asked me a very interesting question. He was like, hey Carter, if you had the opportunity to be temporarily white, would you do it? Very weird question, very odd question. But you know, I'm very proud of who I am. I'm definitely black and I'm proud. I feel very blessed and honored to wake up in this body every single day. And I think that all of you should be proud of who you are and where you came from. You're all beautiful. But to answer that person's question, yes, I would do that. I would totally be temporarily white for like a weekend or something. That sounds like a, that's a vacation from oppression. That's awesome. But, but I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to be a white male. I wouldn't want to be a white man and be awkward online all the time. I wouldn't want to do that. No, no. I would want to be a white girl. That sounds awesome. White girls have the best day ever, every single day. Everything is an adventure to white girls. Going to Rite Aid is an adventure to white girls. White girls are always having the most amazing time, and I can tell, because white girls do not say yeah, and white girls do not say yes. White girls say yas! Yas! Oh my god, yas! Let's do some Molly and Gertrude to a Wiz Khalifa concert, yas! Let's do some shrimps and go on a road trip and a Nissan Versa, yas! White girls are ridiculous, man. White girls are the only creatures on this earth that are allowed to say, you know what? I really don't believe in God. I, I don't believe in anything. I'm really not religious. I'm not even spiritual. Oh, wait, you're a Sagittarius? I'm a Scorpio. Yes! They're too silly, man. They're, they're, too, they're too silly, for real. Like... White girls enjoy every single mundane activity. White girls love Snapchat, and Snapchat is stupid. It is a stupid, pointless, billion dollar worth app, but they love it, they love all the filters. They're like, oh my god, I'm a puppy. Oh my god, I'm a kitten. Oh my god, I'm a mermaid. Oh my god, I'm a beekeeper, yes! will take the prescription glasses
glasses, the very real glasses off of your face, put them on their face and talk about, oh my God, how do I look? <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't know, Amanda. <laughs> you, 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 you took my glasses and now I can't see. And then they're like, oh my god, I'm a nerd, Big Bang Theory, Bazinga, yes! <laughs> Guys, I've been Carter Anderson, thank you.